Hey Wildcats, March is reading month, so we're going to talk about reading month. From Caden's news to you, the movie Tron, and a sequel following yesterday's story, More Fast Food. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hey Wildcats, this is Charlie, a seven-year-old boy with cystic fibrosis. His wish is to go to Disney World, and our goal is to help him get there next week during Wish Week. There are so many ways you can help out, so listen up. We don't have school on Monday, but on Tuesday you can be excused from your first hour to attend the pancake breakfast in the atrium. On Wednesday you can be excused from your third hour to go see Major Six perform in the auditorium. On Thursday we have Pia Teacher during lunch and coin stalls during fourth hour, so make sure to bring as much loose change as you can. Friday will be the student staff basketball game right after school. If you wear your Wish Week shirt, you can get in for free. From March 4th to the 14th, you can buy Wildcat Wishes, which are raffle tickets. If you are chosen, the student council will bring you food on Friday of Wish Week. Throughout Wish Week, you can buy Wish Stars during your second hour. The class with the most stars will win a treat from student council. Last year, Mrs. Skydom was class one. Let's see if you can beat them this year. You can buy tickets online using the links in the Novi Stupco Instagram bio, or check out our table during lunch to see if we're still selling tickets. Help us help Charlie get to Disney. And if you have any questions, feel free to DM Novi Stuco's Instagram. Have a great week, Wildcats. Hey Novi, the Black Student Alliance is hosting an event called Natural Hair Care 101 on Wednesday, March 13th from 3 to 4 p.m. in room 220. Join BSA as they get tips and tricks from licensed chemist and YouTube sensation Tanya Lane. There will be food provided, and if you have any questions, email Ms. Spring. Calling all current or former accounting or long-term investing students. Mrs. Moss has four massive open spots for a financial statement analysis competition on March 8th. The top three presenting teams will win cash prizes with the first place team Wait for it, winning $1,000. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun, so if you're interested, email darcy.moss at novik12.org or visit her in room 218 for more details. Crochet Interest Group will be having their team meeting this week on Thursday, March 7th, 3 to 4 p.m. in room 160. There is a $3 entrance fee, and they will be making beginner-friendly heart-shaped bookmarks. You will need medium-sized yarn, about a 4.5 millimeter hook. Girls softball tryouts begin Monday, March 11th and go until Wednesday, March 13th. Tryouts will take place in the field house from 3 to 5 p.m. after school. And before coming to tryouts, make sure you've signed up through final forms as well as submitted an updated physical completed on or after April 15th, 2023 to final forms as well. For equipment, make sure you bring softball cleats, running shoes, and a mitt and a bat if you have one. If not, some will be provided at the tryouts. We hope to see you there. Tryouts for Novi Girls versus soccer begin Monday March 11th in order to try out you have to have completed final forms and an updated physical on file trials will be from 3 30 to 5 at total sports Wixom. if you have any questions go to room 236 or reach out to senior captain Tally Burns hey Novi trials for girls across are Monday March 11th at 3 p.m. on the stadium turf make sure to sign up on final forms beforehand with a recent physical uploaded to receive important email communications from coach West Hey there Wildcats, did you know March is Reading Month? So, your Novi High School Media Center is housing a challenge where you can leave a book review and it will be hung up on the shelves near the books so that people can see your book review. It has to be from the media center itself and if you want to get a slip to leave a book review, all you gotta do is talk to the front desk at the media center or talk to your ELA teacher, they'll give you a slip and then you can write your book review and submit it. And when you do submit a book, there's actually a prize involved. You'll get a small prize in the beginning and also a big prize if your book happens to be the most checked out book out of all the books. That's all from me. I'll see you later, Wildcats. What's up, Novi? Welcome to what I'm going to call my news to you. It's basically just going to be some quick news about movies, games, and shows. You know how I do it. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to be talking about is the new movie that Disney is making, Tron Ares, with Jared Leto going to be the lead. We got our first look of it. We don't really know much about it. This is our first kind of look at everything. The suit looks nice. I'm kind of excited. 
we haven't gotten Tron in so long. It's I forgot what it felt like to see it. I'm excited. Next, we're going to be talking about House of the Dragon Season 2. We got the release month. We don't have the date, but we have the month. It will be coming out in June. That's a lot sooner than I expected, to be honest. I love House of the Dragon. I have I have a ring that is the Targaryen crown. I love House of the Dragon. I'm very excited for that, and I hope you all are as well. Dune 2. Dune 2 has the biggest weekend box office of 2024 so far. I'm not surprised. I'm sure some other people are not surprised as well. I love Dune. You should check it out because that movie was fantastic. Last but certainly not least, we have WWE 2K24 coming out soon. I want to say March 8th. If you love wrestling, if you love the stories that go into it, definitely check this one out. This one's going to be big. I already know. I'm not crazy about wrestling, but I'm probably going to get it myself because I love playing those games. I hope you enjoyed all the news I had to give to you. We'll see you later, Nova. All right, next we got is Popeyes. And I said this earlier that they're the only real competitors with Chick-fil-A. Their food tastes really high quality and it is extremely filling, but in some ways it's too filling. It does make me feel a little sick after eating an entire Popeyes chicken sandwich, but they're still really good. So I've got to give them an S. Next we got Taco Bell. And even though it does seem like their meat was just like scraped off the ground, it's just like the perfect cheap restaurant to go to. And for that reason, I'm going to give it an S. Yeah, my dad would tell me as a kid that their meat wasn't real meat. They just used the dust and grime scraped off the floor and they just put some sauce on it. They're really good in other ways. I, I gotta give them an A. Next is Chipotle. I've had it a few times and it's been great. I'm just gonna say straight to S. Yeah, their food is reasonably healthy as well as being pretty high quality. I really have had no bad experiences there and it's really just a nostalgic restaurant for me. So I've gotta give it an S as well. Next we got Five Guys and <laughs> even though they're really expensive, the, their burgers are great and their fries are great. So for that, I gotta give Five Guys an S. Yeah, I've only had Five Guys once in my life but they really tasted good. So I gotta give five guys and s all right who do we have next all right dairy queen in the summer is probably an a but like only one season is summer so i'm gonna go b yeah dairy queen is really good in the summer but it kind of falls off in the winter because there's no really point to eat it for me dairy queen gets a b i'd probably have to agree with that i mean for like sweets and, and desserts it is for sure the best place that you can go so i'd also give it a b next we have firehouse sub i've had this once like on the dc trip and it wasn't that bad below average like sub place so i probably have to give it a c next we got is kfc kfc is really good. It's a very solid place to go. Their chicken is pretty good. They take a little long to get your food, but other than that, they're pretty solid, so I'd give them a B. Next, we got Little Caesars, and for pizza places, this place is iconic, and it's insanely cheap. They're not even bad. Like I honestly think that they're pretty good. For being the price they are, I would give it an A. I really like Little Caesars. Their pizza is really solid, probably because of the price value ratio. I, I would actually have to give them an A as well. Next, we have a another pizza place, Sbarro. I've only had this place once. I think it was like really expensive for like this big pizza, but it was like kind of mid. I'd have to give Sbarro probably a C. I actually really do like Sbarro. Their pizza is pretty expensive though. They can be hit or miss with their pizza. It can either be like really, really good and it can be like fresh out of the oven or it can be really mid and like be kind of soggy. I'll give them a B. Next, we have a, another classic restaurant, Wendy's. I've had this a few times and the one time I had it, it was like the driest piece of meat I've probably ever tasted in my life. <laughs> the sandwich was just insanely dry. I had it like two times after that. It was actually good. Just for that one experience, I'm gonna have to drop it down to a B. Yeah. Yeah, Wendy's is actually kind of mid, but it's really cheap, so I'll, I'll give them a B. Next, we have a pretty classic one, a White Castle. I used to have this, like, as a kid, and their sliders aren't bad. Whenever you go out to eat, it's like, you're never really gonna go to a White Castle. I'd probably have to give it a C. My parents used to get White Castle when I was really little, before I could eat White Castle, and they said it was really bad, so for that reason, I'm giving it a D. Well, that is our fast food tier list. Let us know if you agree, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News, email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest.